Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Liz Mosley and I'm a branding designer based in the UK. I'm also an Adobe Express ambassador and I'm very excited to share with you today that the new Adobe Express beta is live. You can see a little sneak peek on my screen behind me um, and it's ready for you to try out. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some of the new features. There's lots of exciting things going on. Um, I am, yeah, looking forward to showing you around. I haven't been creating videos very regularly recently, so if you are new here, welcome. Uh, please hit the subscribe button because I am hoping that over the summer I am going to get into a much better process of creating content for this channel um, and I'm going to be sharing lots more videos with short, helpful tips if you are a creative or a small business owner looking to up your game when it comes to your branding and your marketing. So yeah, great to have you here. I really hope you find this video helpful and that you enjoy checking out the new Adobe Express, which is very exciting. Now, all of these fun text little intros or section markers I have made in Adobe Express. And in a bit, I'm gonna show you how I did it. Um, it's very easy, but let's have a quick look around the new homepage. So you'll see up here, it asks you what you wanna make. We've got some of the key things that you might be interested in, like video, photo, documents. And down here to get us started, we've got all of the different dimensions or the different projects that we might want to start. You'll also see that the generative AI functionality that has come through from Adobe Firefly is front and center. So here we have text to image and text effects. Now I'm not gonna show you text to image, but I would definitely recommend going and have a playing around with that. All of these images here have the prompts written on them so you can get some inspiration as to what you might wanna create. But I'm gonna show you how to use text effects. So first up, what I'm gonna do is type in my prompt. So I'm gonna go with something very similar to what you will have just seen in the intro, which was green moss. And we'll see what it comes up with. Now you'll see here, it's just written the word make. That's very easy to edit. I can just change it to my name. There's a little spinning wheel up here. Um, that just shows you that it's in process and it's created my green moss for me. Now, you might think, oh, this version isn't quite right. Let's have a look at some other versions. I think this one's gonna be a bit closer to what I was hoping for. And you can see it's starting to come together, but you can always load more versions if these aren't quite right, or you can also add more to, um, yeah, your prompt to make it even more accurate. What I'm gonna do actually is make these capital letters. I think that's just gonna help it out a little bit. And you'll see that it is coming together. Let's try a few more of these, maybe this one. Up here, you can change the font. So if you're not happy with the font that it is, you can change that. Um, you'll see that a bunch of options come up. Uh, you can make it tight, loose. So if we make it loose, let's um, click generate again and see what happens. So yeah, you can see there's lots of parameters and you can play around and see how it comes together. You'll also notice that there's a thumbs up and thumbs down button here. So you can basically report back on how you got on. Now I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna change the background and I'm gonna make it the purple. And I'm also going to add a shadow. So I've just got a bit of a drop shadow there. And I'm going to also add some animation. So for my little uh, intros to this video, I've just used this bungee animation. I can change the duration if I want it to be slower. And you'll see that it animates really nicely. And this is so great for using in videos. And you just need to go down here and go up here, I should say, and download the MP4. So yes, yeah, so easy. Now, one of the things that's really important to me when I use Adobe Express are, is the brand kits, because this is something that I use really regularly to make sure that I stay on brand. I use it with my clients. Uh, but you'll see that the menu on the left has had a bit of a re, uh, rejig, a reorder. But if you click into your stuff, you will find that you've got files, um, and then you've got brands and your libraries. So we're gonna head over to brands and I am just going to create a brand and it's still super easy to do. 
Um, so I'll just name it Social Power. This is a fictional social media company. And what I'm going to do is just add in my logos here. I've got four different options and they're all going to appear in the logo section. Um, I can grab my colors. Now, if you've got your hex hose ha codes handy, then obviously upload those there. I'm just going to actually use the pipette tool because I don't have the hex codes to hand and I am going to get them from the logos, which is another cool option that you now have. I'm going to add a black ooh, and a white, and then you'll see I've got my color palette sorted. Um, you can also then choose your fonts. So I'm going to go with this as my uh, header font, and then I'm going to add Leto as my body copy. And you'll see how quickly you can put your brand kit together and you'll see how it all starts to come together um, over on the right where you've got examples. And then lastly, we've got this graphic section and I have got, I've got some sort of brushes that I've created. So I'm just going to upload those there. And so now I'm going to be able to access everything really easily in one place. And if I go back to brands, you'll see that my new brand, I can delete this one because this is one I did earlier, um, is here and ready for me to use, which is amazing. Now, a really exciting new feature in the Adobe Express beta is some of the functionality around libraries and linked assets. So what I'm going to do is just pop into Photoshop and I'm going to open a stock image that I have. And I'm going to create a new library using this stock image. Um, so if I head to libraries and create new and we'll call this social power and I'm going to save this asset over into the library. So now I have that photo there. Now, if I jump back over into Adobe Express, I am going to start a new project and I'm going to create an Instagram story and I'm going to go to my stuff, head to brands and libraries. I am going to find social power. So that's, oh, that's my brand, not my library. Let me just find my, oh yeah, down here is my library. I'm going to find social power and I'm going to use this image in this graphic. So you'll see here it now has a linked button. So what I'm going to do is just use that. This is going to be in the background of my story. But what I've realized having worked on this, hang on, let me just go back and add my logo. Um, so we'll put that in the corner. Now, what I've realized is this image looks really boring. So I want to make some changes to it, but I'm going to make them in Adobe, uh, in Photoshop. So I'm going to head back to Photoshop. I'm going to um, click on this and I'm going to change the image to black and white. Um, I'm going to make some adjustments to the brightness and contrast. And I'm going to add some scribbles on it as well, because that was part of the sort of style of my branding. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to add them in that color. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to add them in black. So I'm just going to change my brush and just add some, yeah, some scribbles around the place just to add a little bit of interest to what she's doing. Um, and I'm going to save that. And you'll notice that it's updated it in the library. So it's called background PSD. Now, if I head back into Adobe Express, this you'll notice that this has popped up and it says your link assets have changed. And so all I need to do is click on update and you'll see that the asset has updated automatically for me, um, which is amazing. So it just means that any changes I make in Photoshop or Illustrator are going to update in Adobe Express. And so now Adobe Express is the perfect companion for those two pro programs that are part of your Creative Cloud suite. So yeah, what an incredible combo. 
So another feature that is super exciting is the collaborative tools. Now I'm just going to create um, a social media template. So I'm just going to use this uh, Mayday design and what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up to the share button up here and you'll see it says invite collaborators and I am going to invite my friend Phil to collaborate on this project with me. So all I need to do is add Phil's email in here and I can write a message to him there and I've set it to can edit and then I just click on invite and in a minute I will be able to see Phil active in this project. Um, so we should be able to see his mouse moving around on the screen and he can come in and make some changes for me. So now you can see Phil uh, in the project live editing. Um, so I think he's gonna grab the text and maybe play around with the font and change that. Um, so we can just watch and see what he does in real time, which is amazing. So he's just there picking a new font for me. Awesome. And then when um, the design is finished, I might decide to head over to the comment and say, hey Phil, what do you think of the design? And I'll just submit that and then he'll get notified and then you'll see in a minute that he can just reply to the comment. And so yeah, we can work on this project together, which is such a neat feature. Um, you can have multiple people collaborating on uh, yeah, one piece all at the same time which could be really handy when you're working as part of a team. So you'll see here that the reply has popped up and I'll just click down and he's put, I absolutely love it. So there we have our design, Phil's pleased, I'm pleased. And yeah, we've worked on this project very quickly together. So I hope you found that video helpful. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of the new version of Express. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them. And I will be back soon with another video to help you with your branding and marketing.